So in this video, we want to talk to you about context variables in navigation. And I'm going to shut the video off for the remainder of this video because I have a control that sits in the corner where the video is and I don't feel like swapping the video back and forth. So in any event, what I want to show you here, let's go into play and let's talk about context variables. So let's put a couple of items here. So the way context variables typically are used is that they are um, you know, if they're used at all, typically what will happen is, you know, there'll be a screen navigation. Uh, so here's a, an, an item for screen navigation, right? And when I click on it, I'll go to the next screen. And so the first thing I have to do, I have to use, well, actually, let me just show you the code. So we'll click on this and we will see that we are using navigate and we're going to another screen, which is the second screen that I have. So if you look at my app, I only have two screens. First is main and second one's another screen. And so I'm navigating to the another screen, and then I am also picking the transition that you have to pick. You can do none as well. But what I'm also doing is there is this thing called dot, dot, dot after the, the helper. So normally most folks just do this, right? But if you do the comma, this dot, dot, dot now says, oh, I can put some context. So what is the context to put into the screen? And so typically what you'll do is you'll put in, you know, something here as a value name and I don't know inside of it, it's this, right? And so that's how I see it typically used. However, you can also add, you know, something else. So blah, 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 colon, and I don't know, maybe it's an integer, 55. So in this point, what we're doing is we're passing over a record. And so people don't think that instead of doing this, I can actually pass along the item that's selected from the gallery. And so as a result of that, I now have the ability to pass the record along to the next page. And you'll see this if you've ever used the wizard that's part of the Power App platform. If you try to maybe build an app from Excel, you'll actually see this happen on there. But because it's done that way, and not a lot of people use the wizards that know how to use Power Apps, they kind of forget that you can do this. So I'm gonna pick well, first, let's update value four. That way it's very, very clear. So I just updated that, right? So I'm gonna select it again, and I'm gonna pass that collection or that record from the selection of the in the gallery over to the next screen. And here you will see my value equals four. And so this is, again, the way most people do the context, which is the way I just showed you in code, right? So I've just, I basically, by the click of a button, I've set two context variables called var1 and var2. And so I believe var1 is called my context and var2 is some value or I may have them backwards. But in any event, now that I've set them, I can now pass those actual explicit values back to the home screen. And so here it is, yeah, I thought I had them backwards. Um, in any event, uh, here's the var1 sum value, and then here's var2 of the context value. And so if I go back to the screen again, this time I won't hit the button, and I just go back to the screen, you can see that those values aren't there anymore. It wasn't until they're explicitly set that I can pass them along. So the purpose again of this video is to know that you can pass along context values, context information, and specifically as it's related to a record. So think about how you might be able to pass records from one screen to the other, as well as you know manually writing out variables of you know one or two more columns in a record uh, over to another screen. So that's it for this video. We'll see you in the next one where we'll talk about writing smaller and easier statements. And we'll use an if statement to illustrate this.